hi friends welcome back to my channel it's nadi here today guys we are making this super yummy tasty treat and it's a guyanese it's very popular in the caribbean also we're gonna make sugar cakes and this is made with coconut so i'm gonna show you two different methods how to make this tasty and delicious treat so guys let's get started on the recipe So friends, to start with, I have everything needed. I have one large coconut, which I have grated, and it has like about three cups of grated coconut. I also have one can of carnation milk, which I'm going to use, you know, shake it very well. I am also going to use one and a half cup of brown sugar for this particular recipe. And also I have here ginger. I have one cinnamon stick and nutmeg. So friends, the very first thing I'm going to do, I want to parch the coconut first. So I'm going to put my coconut in there and I have here like about three cups of grated coconut. I'm also going to add one cinnamon stick in there. So while the coconut is parching, the cinnamon stick would release its flavor. guys my coconut has been parching for like about five minutes on medium flame and um, it has the right color that I'm looking for as you can see it's just starting to get that little light brown color and this is what I'm looking for so at this point I'm gonna go ahead and add my sugar So with this recipe, it's better you use the brown sugar and that will bring out, you know, the brown color and it's so much tastier, guys. So we're going to continue parching this. I'm also going to add the ginger. And guys, there's something about the ginger and brown sugar and coconut. It's mm -mm, good. And also we have our cinnamon stick in there. So we're going to continue churning this until you will see the sugar is going to start to melt. So guys, it has been like about 10 minutes here and I'm still churning. And as you can see, the color is changing and the smell is heavenly, guys. Look at this. So... It's getting brown and you know this is the Guyana kind of the bun sugar cake as we call it so you want it to parch nicely with the brown sugar cinnamon ginger mm -mm, good guys it's looking so good so guys this is what we are looking for so look at the color and it has toasted nicely with the brown sugar cinnamon and ginger now guys i'm gonna go ahead and add the carnation milk so guys at this point i have lowered my stove in between low and medium so on my stove it's a number three so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add some nicely grated nutmeg this is going to give it a very nice flavor. So friends, it has been like about 10 minutes. And as you can see, the liquid has started to evaporate. And it's coming along nicely. So the key to this, um, and I find this very helpful, is to get a nice heavy bottom pan when you're making this. And preferably a non-stick one. So this is looking really good now. And you see how it's clumping together, it's holding. So I know it's all done. So I'm just gonna take my stove off. So friends, this completes my first method of making a sugar cake. And this one is called the bun sugar cake. And in this method, we have toasted the coconut and you know, with the sugar and then add the carnation milk. So this completes the first uh, method. So I'm just going to take small amount and I'm going to make the individual um, sugar cakes. 
And guys, I have to say, this is my favorite because it doesn't contain any food coloring. And um, I like the taste of the, um, you know, the toasted coconut much uh, more. So friends, this is all done. And I'm going to let this cool. And in the meanwhile, we're going to do the second method of making sugar cake. So friends, off to our second method, I'm adding here one and a half cup of water. And to that, I'm adding one cinnamon stick. I'm going to add one and three quarter cup of granulated white sugar. And we're going to give everything a nice mix. And we're going to let the sugar dissolve. So this is bubbling nicely. The sugar has melted and we're going to add the coconut. And so guys, from here on, it's pretty much the same thing. So it's going to be a really quick one from here on. I'm going to go ahead and add the ginger. This has been boiling for like about five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and add my carnation milk. And I'm using one can of carnation milk. So friends, this is bubbling away nicely. And this is going to take a little bit longer because we added the water initially. So, but it's coming along nicely. Just going to add my grated nutmeg in here. So friends, at this point, when it's almost ready to add food coloring, I'm just going to divide this into two. I'm putting this into another pan because I want to do two separate colors. So I'm going to put this on the other side of the to complete it and so here I'm going to add my desired amount of red food coloring so I'm going to make one red and the other one I'm going to make yellow So friends, this is finished, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And you know, it's the same process with the yellow. And um, you know, the only difference with this recipe is initially what we did. Um, you know, one we parch the uh, coconut, whereas the other one we just do the water and then add the uh, other ingredients. friends it's all done and how amazing this looks so colorful so tasty so let's break into one of them i'm going to take my favorite i just love these as you can see it's not hard at all so it's so nice and soft and chewy guys i like mine this way so it's a personal preference if you wanted to get that hard crystallized uh, look then you would add a bit more sugar and let it cook for a longer period. So this is just perfect for me. I like it this way. So friends, I do hope you will try this recipe. This is really nice. Like if you want to give a little, um, like on occasion, if you want to give like little boxes of sweets, this is just perfect. Like you make different colors, put it in a box and you give to your friends and family. So guys, thank you so much for watching and um, take care. I will catch you in my other videos. Thank you so much again. Bye bye.